Hello, welcome to this uh, new season of the Elastic Daily Bytes, which is this time related to the search power of Elastic. So every day, just before noon at uh, the Euro European Central Time, we will explore many of the things you can do nowadays with Elastic Stack. We will cover, for example, things like basic search today, but also using synonyms, using the new uh, 8.10 API, runtime fields, vector search, semantic search, reciprocal uh, rank fusion, and how to connect, for example, Elastic and OpenAI. So subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and join us every day during uh, the next three weeks. So let, let's start now. Uh, I'm going to share uh, my screen here. Okay. So we, you are all probably very familiar with the Elastic Forum named uh, discuss.elastic.co. In the past, we have added a plugin on which on it, sorry, which helps to uh, people to mark a post as uh, an answer to to the question that has been uh, posed. Uh, for example, if we look at this discussion here, we can see that a long discussion happened. So this is the question, and um, that the, the 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 post has been solved with this post number here, number sixteen. So this is the answer given by uh, this uh, Elastic team member. So basically, we wrote a script, which is getting all the posts that are uh, marked as solved. And, um, and we send that information to Elasticsearch running in Elastic Cloud, so with the latest version that we have uh, uh, so far, so 8.10.2. So if we open DevTools, so by the way, here we have the topic ID of the discussion. And if we open DevTools, we can uh, get uh, actually, the document that has been indexed. So it's super an, uh, handy here uh, because I'm using the same ID for the document in Elasticsearch than the topic ID. So it's super easy to find the information we, we want to, to check. So here, this is typically one of the document. This is how it looks like. Um, um, so we can have, we can see that we have the question part here with the, 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 the text the author, the username, etc., the date, and then the solution, basically. So let's uh, have a look at what we have indexed so far. So if I'm searching here, so I'm using the search endpoint, what we can see in the response is um, many in interesting information. So we are typically the number uh, of shards uh, that we search in, uh, also the took information, so this is super handy, this information, when you want to know if the search is fast enough or not. Sometimes we have people uh, saying in the forum that the search is not fast enough, but when we look at this number, it's super fast. So it's probably explaining that there is something wrong on the network side or in the application of the user. Um, here we can see here the total number of hits. And actually what we are seeing here is not the total number of hits. What we know here is that we have at least 10,000 hits. So this is an optimization on Elasticsearch side. Uh, if you don't really need to know the exact total number of matches after 10,000 hits, then we are just giving an approximation, which is more than 10,000. If you want to know the exact number of hits, then you can add this track total hits equal true. And here now you can see the, the total number of hits that we have. So this is the number of documents that we have indexed uh, into um, uh, Elasticsearch from Discuss, so the solved post, basically. So if we look at what we have, we have the hits. So we have some uh, interesting information here, like the hits and things like that. So we have a lot of text here, as you can see, the solution. So sometimes Kibana does not render that very well. So if you don't want to get uh, all the fields which are available uh, in the in the source field, then uh, you can filter uh, that. And you can say, OK, I just want to see the title, the category name, duration, the question, and, and things along those lines. Question author, sorry, and things along those lines. So if we look now at what we have, we can see that we have a limited number of, um, of fields uh, which are coming back. You can do the other way around, like exclude what you don't want to see. 
So instead of having to set all the fields that I want to include here, I just want to remove the every field which is ending uh, with the text here. So that's what we have. If we look at the response object, actually what we can see, we have the index in the metadata. So it's super useful when you are implementing a search engine on top of multiple data sources. Uh, that way you can say uh, when running the search from which index the, the, the document is coming from. The ID, this is the topic ID that we have in this case. And the score here is one. We will cover that one from Wednesday where we have a text search. But basically for now, I don't have any query. So all documents have the same score. So let's have a look at the number of bits that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we have 10 hits here, but the number of hits in total is that number. So more than 25,000. So why we have only 10 hits? It's by default, uh, Elasticsearch is uh, routing only the 10 uh, first documents, right? So Elasticsearch has a built-in pagination. So uh, you can change that using the size uh, parameter. So with the size, you can actually uh, decide to have only one document per page, which is the case here. I have only one document, right? And if I want to get the next document, then I can use the from parameter. So by default, the from parameter, the from value is zero. Here, so we can see that we have that uh, document. If I'm searching from zero, I'm still having that document first. And if I want to get the next one, I can uh, change and switch to the, and start from document one instead from document zero. So now I have the next one, right? Um, I can also uh, paginate up to a number. So here I'm going to take uh, from the document uh, nine, 1,999, and I want to get one document. So this is going to work. But if I want to search after that, it will uh, uh, give us back uh, an exception, right? So here, the result window is too large, and it must be from plus size, must be under less or equal to 10,000, right? So I cannot access to the other one. So there is an advice here. See the scroll API for a more efficient way or change this value. But you need to uh, understand something. If you change this value, it's going to uh, um, alter your performance. If we look at the numbers that we have here, when we are searching from the beginning, the, 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 the took time is only one millisecond. And when we are searching for more than that, like at the end of the, the pages, then the, the took time is six instead of one. So we can see that there is an effect. We can't not really measure that here, but if you have million of hits and you want to access the last ones, then it can be tricky. So again, look at the uh, message here. So it's telling us to uh, use the scroll API for a more efficient way. And actually this is wrong now. So we, we should change that uh, message uh, in, the, in the response. Uh, if we go to this page, so this page is super handy. It helps you to understand how you can paginate search results. So it's explaining the from and size parameter that I mentioned, but also what you should do after 10,000 hits. And basically what you should do is to use search after, right? So uh, don't use the scroll API is no longer the best practice, right? Uh, use search, search after and point in time. So search after helps you to uh, do deep pagination while a uh, point in time will allow you to do that in a consistent way across pages, even though you are still modifying your data set and indexing new documents. So thank you for watching. Tomorrow we will be covering one of the key components of the text search, which is the analysis process. So join us, same hour of the day. Right. Bye.